This is Adrian reporting for ESCplus.com, live from Gliwice, Poland, the Junior Eurovision Song Contest 2019. And I have next to me Efi Yika from Albania. She represented the country last year with Barbie in Minsk. And it's a pleasure to see you back here in the competition, this time for a different role. You are uh, the spokesperson for the country this year. You're going to read out the points yeah. in the final. How does it feel to do that? Uh, it feels really good, actually, but I really miss the stage, and here I am, so, yeah, it's so amazing. Which memories do you have from last year? Because I think uh, it was something very intense. It was something that you're going to be uh, remembering forever. Which are the strongest memories that you keep from there? Well, the strongest of them are when we all sing the light up together with all of the guys, and when I sing on the stage the song Barbie, and it was so amazing. I mean, you know, Oh yeah, and also when we just they said the winner and it was rocks and I was really happy though. <laughs> what now that when you see your performance yeah. and when you sit on your sofa on your bedroom and you you see you perform yourself performing Barbie, what do you think? Well, I really that all of my memories come back and I was, I'm like, oh my god, I wish I could be there one more time and here I am and I'm, I'm so excited here. One more time, there's a chance you can enter Festival Ikenges in Albania. Will you do that in the future to represent Albania in Eurovision? Yeah, I really would like to again because it was an amazing experience. Sorry. Yeah. And um, this year's Albanian representative, Janida Malici, yeah. did you like the song? Yeah, it was really cool, but it didn't become to a really high um, place, but it was uh, all right because it was uh, really nice, the song, and that doesn't matter really. But from that, I've heard that you recently released a new song and you filmed a video. Tell us more about that, about the song, about the video, about the video clip, where, because you filmed it in different locations around Europe. So tell us, give us a hint about it. Yeah, okay, uh, the new song is called Summer Days, and I, yeah, uh, and I have, like, um, the video I done it in my uh, vacation trip, and uh, I got to many places, like, in France, in um, Spain, uh, and uh, some other places in Italy, and uh, I thought it would be a really great idea to see all of the places around the world, and, yeah, to do my vi video clip over there. Is it the style of music that you want to keep releasing in the future? Yeah, I really like uh, like happy music and like uh, dancing music, like to dance when you hear it. It's really cool for me. Whom did you work with for the song? What? Uh, um, who was helping you to, to write the song, to produce the song? Who, who worked with you for that? Oh, uh, dad, my dad, uh, my mom. Actually, my dad is my manager right now. And uh, some of the songs uh, uh, are we're trying to do it with a girl called Ada, and she lives in Los Angeles. But she's from Albania, but she lives in Los Angeles. And we do the songs with her and my dad here, and we like to like, uh, mix it up. Lindita Halimi, she w she lives in the U.S., yeah. but she's Albanian as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So um, I also wanted to ask you, who do you want to give the 12 points to on Sunday? Who would you like the, to give the 12 points? Well, I love everybody. All the songs are really amazing, but I really don't have like a really choice now because I am like thinking on it. But I really like uh, France and Spain too, but I'm not sure. We'll see what's going on for France and Spain. Which kind of message, which kind of words have you told to Isaia when it comes to this experience, you know, to, to, to go and take this experience as, as it should be? A great opportunity for young talents. Yeah, I told her to not be afraid because when she when I like saw her and we like talked a little bit for Eurovision that she said that the stage were really big and she was a little bit nervous, but I told her just to be focused on the song and uh, doing her best and spend time with all of her friends here and don't think about anything. Is it? I think is what you did actually last year, right? Actually, yeah. What do you think of? Uh, Help me pronouncing the name of the song of Isaiah because I struggle quite a lot. How is it? Oh, uh, wait. Familia uh, Ima. How is it? Yeah. Yeah. How, it, um, what, what's, how is your own interpretation? How do you see the message of the song yourself, of Isaiah? Well, uh, it's about a little girl. 
uh, Isaya's best friend that her mom was a uh, has had a crush like a crash okay. with a car yeah. and she died um, and she was about talking about her and the feelings like a little bit like sad song really although it's a sad, sad song which uh, doesn't talk about uh, happy yeah. uh, meaning or uh, something like that uh, I think it's still motivating for people to keep continue yeah. having strength in their lives right um, Barbie when I tell you Barbie what's the first word that comes to your mind uh, this my song Barbie Junior Revision of course <laughs> mm, which is the best part of the song that you nowadays because it's it's a year we've already talking about that behind cameras what's the, the memory that you keep from the song, song. nowadays would you have changed anything uh, at this point Maybe I'm not really sure because uh, I really like the song Barbie, and uh, my favorite part of the song Barbie is the English part because I love English and Albanian too. But uh, that's like the message for all the people out there. Do not tell me what to do. I don't want to follow you. <laughs> I was actually going to tell you if you could sing us a little bit of the song. Okay. Do you want me to yeah, sing of it? Course. Of course. Okay. Uh, do you want me to sing my favorite part or your favorite part? Okay. One that you feel most comfortable with. Okay, one, two, three. Do not tell me what to do. I don't want to follow you. Why you call me Barbie girl? I'm a smart girl overall. Woo! <laughs> now let's do a game. Okay. It's the same game that we have been practicing with the, this year's Junior Eurovision uh, representatives, but as we couldn't meet you, meet you last year in Minsk, we're going to do it with you as well. Okay. Okay, okay I'm going to throw the dice. Okay, well, you're actually gonna throw yourself the dice, it's not me, but you. Uh, and depending on which side, yeah, open it, yeah. And um, I will ask you questions uh, depending on each of the sides. Okay. You, yeah, you can throw them if you want. Okay, so we got a cat. A cat. Do you have pets? Uh, yeah, I have a dog. Do you like pets? Yeah, I really like, but my favorite pet is dogs. They're so cute and fluffy. What's his name? His name is Teddy. Okay. And do you like going out with him? Yeah, I really like him. Uh, especially when uh, I go to his friends because he has uh, some friends with him that uh, he really likes to play with them. Let's say hello to him. Hello, Teddy. <laughs> now, we have this sad face. What makes you sad? Well, I don't know when... Um, uh, I don't know. What m or what makes you cry? What makes me cry? To a good thing or a bad thing? Either. So, and the good thing is uh, I cry when uh, I think that something is really special to me. And uh, like, uh, yeah, when I was in Junior Eurovision and I, when I was in Junior Fest in Albania, yeah. uh, I was about to cry, but not really. Uh, as you can see in the video, you said it was really emotional and she cried a little bit. Of course, it's always, uh, in this case, for I mean, it's such a rewarding, rewarding experience, something huge. Uh, and in the nice way? Could you say that as well? Uh, what? That make you happy? Yeah. Like that moment? Happy? Um, I really... of happiness? Yeah, cry for happiness. <laughs> um, if I show you this, what would you say to that? It's the sun. The sun. What do you like the most about nice weather? What do you like doing? Uh, I like to go out with my friends, my family. Uh, I really also like to go in the beach in summer. And yeah, that's all. Everything. Okay. Who would you kiss first if you win a Grammy? Who would I kiss first? Yeah. My mom and dad, and then everybody else. Okay. <laughs> uh, which is uh, your favorite transportation? Um, I really like going by car. You really like going by car, okay. Are you afraid of planes? No, actually not. I really like to go with planes, uh, and it's really fun, actually. About boats? Uh, yeah, boats are my favorite one. Okay. Um, Christmas. Do you like Christmas? I love Christmas and I can't wait for Christmas to come. Uh, what do you like the most about uh, Christmas time? Uh, well, uh, I like to spend all time with all of my family and open up the uh, Christmas presents. Yeah, okay, how do people, um, you know, how do people in Albania celebrate Christmas? Well, we open uh, the tree, we uh, like 
eat every, uh, like traditional Albania uh, food. And uh, we open a presents, not in the morning, but uh, in the afternoon. Favorite Albanian food? My favorite Albanian food? Okay. Um, it's uh, like a thing called fasule. And it's like uh, really yummy. Okay. But yeah. <laughs> well, that was an interview. If it was a pleasure to see you here in Gliwice in Poland, uh, one year after your participation for Albania in this uh, huge contest. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for talking to ESCplus.com. We've been following you for this whole year and we continue with doing that as well. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you for taking me to the interview. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. <laughs>